Hello Floss Tube. It's been a long time. It's been two years since I've made my first video. So I have a lot to cover. Uh, so this will be, I made my video, my floss, my first Floss Tube video about two years ago. So I've still been cross stitching off and on, but I had eye surgery. So it made it kind of difficult. I didn't know what was going on till I went and went to the doctor. I ended up having surgery on my left eye. I could see well, but um, I have trouble now uh, with like the 32 count, but 14 count, no problem. So now I'm basically making all my, um, you know, cross stitch things on 14 count or larger. <laughs> So I have a bunch of giveaways to give away. So if um, you subscribe to me, um, my videos, I will, um, I have some giveaways because I will be um, thinning out my stash. So I have a giveaway of, uh, the first one will be, if you subscribe and say um, mermaid, here it is. It's a mermaid kit. It's made by um, who is this? Uh, Joan Elliott. So it has the thread and everything. If um, so, this will be my first giveaway. So if you um, put in the comments, uh, mermaid, I will. Um, if I get more than one, I will send it to that one. If I get more than one, I'll put it in the hat and draw it out. And here's another giveaway. I have a kit um, from Brucella. And this kit is um, from Brucella. It has a bunch of little Santa Claus. It's cute. It has the floss and everything still in the package. So if you put snowman, I will... Um, Let's see, can I get this in focus? Yeah. Some tin. The snowman and that one will be it. And I also have a giveaway of Macintosh Mills by Dimensions. And here is that one. And here is has the thread and the eight o'clock. And you may not remember, but um, I love going to like Goodwill and thrift stores and doing rescues. So I have a bunch of rescues that I went through and started. But here is my, I just picked up my whip. Um, this one is called Marketplace. And let me put the needle here. Um... Part off and I'm almost done yay let me put it back a little so uh, for the longest time uh, my husband would tease me I just had uh, I think some heads floating he says when are they gonna get some bodies so they're finally getting some bodies so this is my whip um, it's coming along so hopefully I will I try to work on that every evening do one or two stitches I'm doing like a rotation now um, so I'll start a rotation and then I'll um, you know work a, one day here one day there and I seen uh, I've been watching floss tube videos so I've been seeing everybody making uh, project bags so I have one uh, in the makings. I'm going to put that kit in. So I'm right in the process now. Uh, putting my zipper in. So that's that'll be the project bag for that one. And I, I'm not sure if, um, if you're wondering where I'm at now. Uh, they banded me out of the... I was in my family room, but now... Um, I cross stitch out in the family room, but I keep all my 
supplies and everything um, in my sewing room and it's literally packed and I'm always in the middle of reorganizing and taking things in first I do beads and I do cross stitch so right now I made this giant project bag but I ordered this kit I'm not sure if anyone else off of AliExpress um, it is a I never knew it was this big I had no idea but I love peacocks is that glare on there well living in Phoenix you get lots of glare it's still a hundred plus outside so and this is humongous I, I'll take it out of my project bag I have it on the scroll frame and I'm just now starting I, I mounted on the scroll frame trying to get um, you know I'm trying to get some tension so I can start but this is 11 count so I should have no problem working on this one uh, but this is my first kit from you know I was just curious uh, how everyone has anyone else completed one of those kits from China and I was shocked um, here is the floss they sent I know it's a big kit but this is and they also sent um, I'm like I'm gonna be busy like schemes and schemes of this so I should not run out of floss and if I do they give you the DMC uh, equivalent but I'm just curious if you want to put in the comments if you started or you are going to start I'm uh, since this is such a big kit I want to eventually make it um, I'm going to roll this back up For my uh, bedroom I want to do it all in peacocks and this is a project bag I made I uh, made it so I can fit this scroll frame in here and take it out it's a lot to handle but I got about 200 stitches in probably a thousand more to go but I kind of rationalized I said well some people work on um, 32 count 40 count this is 11 count so I look at some of those heaven and earth designs they are beautiful but I say will I ever be able to complete one of those and that is a work in process and I have a couple of whips um, also the reason I'm giving that mermaid away because I have the same mermaid that I started I don't know why that glare is right there so I have that whip going that's on 14 count and I have no idea where it is hmm. I thought I had everything together and also this is um another haul I got from China I have not even taken this out of the package. I had no idea they were that large. Uh, 
sorry for the interruption. My son, he decided he wanted to play his um, um, little synthesizer keyboard. No. Right when I get ready to make my second floss to video. So I said, wait. And here is a. This is. Let me get the other part. I thought this was such a coincidence. Um, my mom she loved birds. Um, so I found this kit. It's called America and it has all the state birds. I thought, oh, that's pretty. So I said, one day I'm going to start this. So lo and behold, I was at Goodwill. And look what I found. All bundled up, no thread. This the kit. I said that looks familiar. So it was bundled up in a bag. Someone has started it. So, um, it is kind of dirty, but I don't see any holes in the Ada. So I'm going to finish this. You know, I have the thread and everything um, in the kit because this is unopened. So I thought that was a nice find. So I'm going to put this, um, I work on scroll frames. So I'm going to mount this to a scroll frame and start, start it back up again. So that was a pleasant find. And this is a work in progress, the Beatitudes. Oh, when I wasn't cross stitching, I went and took all my um, all my projects off their scroll frames because I didn't know if I left a needle in, and I didn't know how they would take. You know, living in the desert, I didn't want things to um, get, um, you know, rotted or dried out. So, but so far, um, so I'm going to mount them all back up now that I'm back into cross stitching and finishing them. And here's another, um, here's a chart for the Beatitudes. A string on it. And here is a. Uh, I think I got this from. Um, stitch. One, two, three, stitch. Here is um, a Lizzie Kate, um, Time for God, Happy Times, Praise God. And it says, Difficult Times, Seek God, Quiet Times, Worship God, Hard Times, Trust God, All Times, Thanks God. But I got all the thread. I think I got this from 1, 2, 3, Stitch. But I'm gonna, I got everything in a kit, but this linen. 30 count cappuccino linen. Wow. I'm gonna find me some uh, 8 o'clock. Hey, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. And this is another um, project. I'm going to start I don't know um, I have all the floss sorry about that fell down mother earth and I have all the floss and everything and I my first attempt at dyeing fabric. 
and I dyed some uh, 14 count Ada. So this turned out really nice. So I'm real happy with the. Um, it's almost close to the. Um, let me see. I'm trying to get my air camera angles back. I, you know, that's the hardest thing not to get glare. But there is the. Let me see. Try not to get that camera angle, but there's almost here. Um, you can. Um, they said sunlight, but here you can get too much sun, and then it will be too bright. But I have all the floss. I'm gonna card all this up for that project, and. You know, this will be a giveaway too. I'm going to give away, um, I have the mermaid, the snowman, and this is 30 count. It is 17 by 26. So if you put cappuccino in the comment box and, you sub or and you're a subscriber, I will, um, you know, if I get more than one or more than two, I'll just do a drawing. Uh, probably next week. Today is the... Let me put this over with the giveaways. So, um, check. When I post a video, make sure you watch it. Because I have tons of stuff. I'm just downsizing my stash. Because, um, because of my eyes, I can't... I won't be able to do the fine work I had planned on. So now I'm just going to do, uh, you know, the 14 count or higher. And I also have, I've been struggling with this one. This one's 18 count. Uh, but I started this one way before, uh, you know. And I'm going to make this into a pillow. You know, way before my eyes went bad. It's uh, like a little Our Father. It's like a, you know, verse. This is almost done. I just have to go in and fill in the flowers. And then I'm going to make a pretty pillow. And this came from, and I know now you can't show charts. But this came from an Omni book. I don't know if they still make these. I look for them. But this is Omnibook. Um, and it has 170 designs. So that's a lot. So it has all the scriptures. So that's um. This one should be finished very soon. And I had to go re-get... Re get more floss for that one I need to card up um, for some reason um, when I was uh, trying to organize things I disorganized things so then I've been at a cross stitch in a while so now I got to get everything back in place and this is a project I found this is a rescue let me hide the chart first. And this, um, I'm currently getting a floss for and putting it on a frame. But this is Noah's art. And whoever did it did all this part. And I'm kind of looking forward to doing this because this is like a little instant. I like samplers because, um, you know, you get that instant gratification. And here I try to make a project bag. I'm learning. Um, but I know I need to put a zipper on them now. Now I'm going to mount this. I'm right in the middle of mounting this to a scroll frame. But um, this is a rescue, like I said. And they, they did the art. And I just have to finish the down part. So this is um 
This I found at the Goodwill. And it had the chart, the Ada Claw, but no um, it didn't have no uh, floss. But somebody put a lot of work into that. So that's a rescue. And I also have another rescue. And I have the chart around here somewhere. But this one I am finishing also. Let me see if I have it here. Um, no, I don't have it here, but they came a long way. And this is uh, just like the last rescue. It was with the Noah's Art. So it had footprints. And the same will go in this spot right here. But they're over. I say this is over halfway done. And one thing about rescues, they do get a little dirty. Like I see stains in here. Uh, I don't want to wash it just yet. So. You know, I'm going to wait on washing it. Oh. Here it is right here. I was a little bit organized. Here's the little saying with the footprints, but like I said, they worked all here, went down here, and now I just have to finish this in the bottom. So that should work up pretty fast. So once I get them in frames, I'll give you updates. And this um, right here, I got the, oh, what is that program called? Where you can make your own um, patterns out for photos. PC, PC, PC stitch. So this is a photograph. And this is my design. You might can you might not can see it, but it's like um, with that glare, you probably can't see it. But it's a uh, it's one of my mom's, so I'm looking forward to doing this. But once I generated it and I got the photo where I wanted it, this is all the over here on the side. It's all the DMC floss. And if you see the pattern, which this is my own pattern, so I can show it. Um, tons of confetti. Just tons and tons. I could not believe it. And I'm not too familiar with parking yet, but this should be very interesting. And I just went and got all the floss. I could not believe all the colors. That's required. But I seen, um, I think I'm in some of the Facebook stitching groups and they've done photos. And I have been shocked how they turned out. They have the photo. Then they have the actual work. So this is one I will do. I just couldn't believe all the flaws that's required. So I'm going to get this. Um, I decided I wanted real antique looking. So this is the um, 8 o'clock I'm going to put it on. But I'm wondering if this is going to be big enough. It should be. So right now I was counting it out to make sure this was the right size. But I went to Joann's today. They're having their coupon promotion. I purchased this uh, 
30 by 36. I doubt if it'd be that big. But this is the 8 of cloth 14 count. This is called Oatmeal. And it gives you that antique look. And there are some more items I want to put on this too. That look like uh, papyrus. I think that's what they call it. Papyrus paper. The Egyptian shoes. Yeah. So I want to put some things on that. And that is my, currently that's my quips. I decided I'm going to work on probably, since the year is 17, I want to work on 17 projects. I just figured that'll be it because normally, you know, I want to go just 17 projects and they're kind of massive so hopefully... I'll finish them and then next year it'll be 18 I'll start 18 more projects or not 18 but keep it at 18 whips take a little break drinking um, passion fruit tea mm, it's good well right now before I go into haul um, I will show you some finishes This was a rescue that I was able to finish. Give thanks. In the back. I think I just had to go in and do back stitching. And whoever did, did excellent work. I mean, no, they cut everything, they tied it off. I was just. This was nice. So I'm going to make this into a pillow. And I had a grandbaby. And this I found. And I'm going to put her name in there. And it this was basically done. It has a stain, but I think that's going to wash out one side get it done this um, was basically done and it did have uh, someone was stitching a name um, but I just had to pick out I think it started with an A so I picked out the name and luckily um, the alphabet are right now here so I'm just going to copy the alphabet and put her whole name there. I'm going to count, make sure I have enough spaces. And this will be a pillow. I figure I love making pillows. I mean, I made, um, I used to frame stuff and, you know, I go over there. I never see it hanging on nobody's wall. But pillows, oh, people love pillows for some reason when I do gifts. Okay, um. Now I'm going to get into um, haul. haul. Um, I found a designer. This is so pretty. It's by Leslie Trey. Leslie Terry. It's a cute little Madonna or maybe a mother and a baby. So this I'm going to put on, um, um, and she sent you a nice photo too. I like the photo. Like a high density photo. And this, um, they stitched it on black, but I'm going to put it on that King Tut. I'm going to stitch it on some papyrus looking paper and here he is on a lighter print which I think I'm going to do a lighter print oops got the sun oh there it goes no glare it's a little glare 
And here's another one by the Banks of the Nile. that one and here's the photo that goes with it then I went to I got the gloss for this was so cute I think I seen someone stitch this up and I love butterflies and it's in the shape of a heart this is called once upon a butterfly and I got all the floss for this one and for some reason when I bought it, it made me happy. So I love happy colors. And this is some of the, you know, all the cool colors that make you happy. And I also ordered these pretty ladies. I'm going to make little pin cushions out of them. And I love sewing machines I'm like obsessed with sewing machines so anything with a sewing machine prairie schooler and this design I think I'm just gonna make a little one two three four I'm gonna make four um those squares and a pillow. I'm gonna kind of, uh, kind of equal them out, then put a pillow. Yeah, you know, make a pillow or something. Or I might make a wall hanging out of this. I'm not sure yet. And of course, another sampler. And you see the roller sewing machines. This is called Sewing with Love. Stony Creek. Here's the back. And so many memories. Little singer. I have plans for like a sewing machine, a, I mean sewing room, and I'm going to put sewing machines all along the little wall because I have some miniature sewing machines. So I've been collecting. And here's some ornaments. You have the thread, the pin cushion, and the sewing machine. Since I have the massive peacock that will probably take me years to complete and some, you know, big projects. I like, like mixing them with smaller projects. And here is some, um, I was watching a couple videos and of course peacocks. I got this Marabilia. And look at the peacock, it's beautiful. And the colors do not do this justice. So that is so pretty. I just put in peacocks and then sewing machines. And I also got birds of a feather. This is like an old timey. And they want you to stitch it on 28 count. So I'll do 14 count. So this is going to be a pretty good size since I won't be able to do it on the 28 count. And this is too cute. I think I had this before. I didn't buy this one, but I mean I bought it, but I didn't buy it here recently. I had it in my stash. And I was watching a video and I had to go get this. I went to Joann's today.
to get this stitch gold, cross stitch gold with the peacock. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Can't wait to start it. Looking forward to stitching this. Well, hopefully my next video I'll get my camera angles better. I won't have all these shadows on my forehead and my face looks so shiny, but who cares? It's all about cross stitch. <laughs> and here is one uh, white peacocks, which are rare. Um, I was able to see one before. And they have like gold shimmers on them. I mean, they are beautiful. I think they call them albinos. I'm not sure, but that's what the person who had the peacock for them said. So I think um, I showed you my work in progress, future projects, my haul, and um, you know this is my second video. So hopefully um, today is Saturday. I'm gonna try to make one at least every other Saturday and give an update. And hopefully by the next uh, video I have um, frames. You know, I'll, I'll mount them all in frames, scroll frames, because I have all my scroll frames here just waiting. Um, and I find these at the Goodwill by the dozen. And now I kind of restore them. I, you know, find these knobs are missing, so then I interchange knobs. And, you know, so I'm going to start mounting these in these scroll frames. I got the tape on them. And I had a friend. This is so funny. I was complaining about the price of floss. And a friend loved garage sales. And he calls me and says, I see a, see a container of yarn. He called it yarn. I, I was wondering if you wanted it. I said, yarn? And so I said, snap a picture. Um, he said, it's, they were asking five. I mean, they were asking ten. He said, but I'm trying to get it for five. And... I said, well, snap a picture. So I think here his wife took a picture and sent it. Oh, I'm like, what? So I have been separating floss for, that's why I haven't gotten anything done. I, I was in awe. And some of the floss, you know, I even got picky. I said, well, this container is huge I I was outdone I like wow and I'm like what you know it just amazes me and inside there was you know the someone had took all the colors that's how I've been kitting some of my kits up and they had put the DMC floss you know, they had all these colors already on, you know, just, and they have like pearl cottons. And like I said, I got picky. I went through and I only wanted the, um, the DMC. But some of it's kind of old, some of it, you know, most of it's new, but I wanted to show something. This is so, I kept this separate, this little bag separate. But this is beautiful. You could still, um, it's Coates and Clark, Coates and Clark, but look at the price. Three for ten cents. <laughs> and I remember uh, when I was little, you know, floss was like, you know, I just couldn't believe it. You know, floss was, and I just told you, I think it used to be a nickel, a nickel a piece, but. I don't know if I can get it in focus. 
Anyway, uh, anyways, three for a dime. And the good thing about it, it's still in pretty good shape. So whoever had this must have just kept it um, in their sewing box, which back then they, they made it out of cedar and they lined everything in cotton. You know, it was lined in cotton. So one good thing about being out here in the desert, um, you don't have to worry about um, rotting or anything. But I didn't want a long video. And like I said, thanks for watching my second floss tube video. And hopefully I will make more. But be sure and comment for the giveaway. The mermaid, the snowman, the little country town, kits with the floss, and the linen. Like I said, if I get more than one comment wanting the same thing, I will have a drawing. And I'll contact you, stick it in an envelope, and mail it. But make sure you watch my next video. I'll have more and more giveaways. Like I said, because of my eyesight, I can only do 14 counts or higher. Oh, so I have tons of stuff to give away. I think I have linen I'm going to start going through. So make sure... You watch my videos and subscribe and I will subscribe to yours and have a great day. Thank you.